um, big men that can really score inside. Um, they have lethal guards that can shoot it. Uh, so you know we gotta, we really gotta tighten the screws tomorrow, and but at the same time rest our bodies and come prepared on Monday. You said nothing changes, but but how does it feel right now? You never want to lose. Um, you know, it's, 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 um, it is a slap in the face, especially in your own arena, uh, to lose. Um, but, I mean, it happens. So, you know, we can't, we can't be too upset. we gotta, we got to keep it going. How, how were they able to run more than other teams have run on, run on you guys? They got a lot of fast break points. Um, I thought some of it was our shot selection. Um, you know, bad shots, quick shots, um, or easy misses come off the rim, and they were pushing. And, uh, you know, it's on the guards to get back and really stop the ball. And I thought we had a, we had a couple breakdowns in that area, and I thought also in the half court defense, um, Winslow was making plays, and, and guys were getting to the basket too easy. So, um, you know, that's that's not characteristic of our fat line defense, so we got to clean that up. Can you learn as much from a win as you can from a loss? Of course. Um, it, it, it depends, but you can learn more from a, from a win than a loss, um, especially coming back. So if we were to beat UNC, we could come back, we could say we were resilient. It can show the experience and the maturity of your team. Um, if we were to lose, you know, we, we still have screws to tighten and there's always stuff you can learn from losing. So I think it's a, it's a double-edged sword that you can, you can learn stuff either way. Malcolm, what was the difference there in the final few minutes? Was there anything with your defense or were they just making tough shots? I think it was both. Um, got to take my hat off to them. The guards hit big shots, but, um, you know, we got to look at ourselves and be introspective and uh, really, um, you know, realize that we had, we definitely had a part in that. It wasn't just them hitting shots. They were hitting some open shots, and uh, that hurt us. What's the biggest challenge now facing a good North Carolina team down in Chapel Hill? Um, very good North Carolina team. Um, they're a team that seems like they almost get better as they go. Uh, and they, they block a lot of shots. They're a very good defensive team as well as, well as offensively. And um, we got to come prepared. We got to watch them and come prepared. After the alley oop dunk, it seemed like the offense just was discombobulated. There was really no flow. There was, and it had been really good flow up to that point. What, what, was, what, was the, what was the issue there, you think? I don't know. Um, I can't actually remember at what point that happened in the half, in the second half. Um, but I do know they switched to, switched to zone and they were going back and forth from 2 3 to 3 2. And uh, I thought that let us. I thought we let that affect us a little bit more than we should have, and uh, it threw us out of our flow a little bit. So, you know. I know any loss stings, but given how this one ended, given all the hype around it and full house, is there any more of a sting to this one? Uh, no. Uh, you know, it's it's tough. Uh, it being game day here it, and all the hoopla around the game, but at the same time, it's it's down to the. It's about the basics. It's about going out there and competing and executing as well as you want to. And what really frustrates us, what really frustrates Coach Bennett is us not executing to our best ability, regardless of all the extra attention and distractions uh, that was around this game. Um, so it really, it's just on us. We're, we're disappointed that we didn't execute as well as we could have.